Hello everyone, welcome to Organolysis. So this is another video of rearrangement reaction series and this is rearrangement reaction part 12 and in this particular video we are going to talk about the mayer schuster rearrangement and Rupe rearrangement and they are very much similar but they have quite difference in, uh, in the case of mechanism. So uh, let us know that. So first of all, we are taking that we are taking uh, the rearrangement reaction that is the mayer schuster rearrangement. Okay, so what kind of substrate undergo this rearrangement reaction uh, that you should know first that the compound that is basically used that is a propargylic alcohol. Now what is propargylic alcohol and uh, propargylic alcohol is basically if you have this triple bond or a kind of uh, group and if you have this functionality OH group uh, adjacent to this uh, triple bond C uh, that is basically called the propargylic alcohol right now. Uh, if you if you treat with this kind of substrate in presence of any acid, protic acid or Lewis acid like ACCl, uh, acetyl chloride or any kind of uh, strong acid that is concentrated H2O4, you are getting this kind of substrate, right? And this kind of substrate is basically, if you if you if you uh, see carefully, and uh, then you can observe that the one one three tri phenyl two propanol propanol that is in inol just because of it is called uh, propanol, and this kind of substrate. Uh, generally, uh, really for readily from this 133 triphenyl propanone, right? Now, and uh, the mayer schuster rearrangement in case of mayer schuster rearrangement, uh, see the mechanism first. So, if you have this kind of uh, propargylic alcohol, now if you use this uh, concentrated acid, so it's a source of H plus, so this oxygen has a lone pair. So it can take a proton from this uh, acid source and it will readily form this OH2 plus. Now it can stabilize. Now how it can stabilize? Now it can stabilize through this uh, adjacent uh, C triple bond C and by forming uh, by forming in this way, right? Now by forming this kind of alanyl cation. cation. Now why this alanyl cation uh, indicate? Now this alanyl cation indicate the aline kind of system if you see uh, carefully that if you have this kind of uh, round shape that is basically uh, indicator one carbon in inserting from here so this is indicates a carbon over here and if you see carefully that there is a c double bond c double bond c like this kind of moiety this kind of moiety so it is basically called the aline system so if you have this kind of uh, system that is basically called anil alanyl cation Right now, this OH minus uh, from here it will take a proton. It's like this. It loses it. It loses it, its proton. So you are getting this OH kind of uh, thing over here. And if you get, if you are, you are getting this kind of allyl derivative. Now uh, this allyl, sorry, not allyl. It's a aline kind of derivative. So it's a aline kind of derivative so if you get this aline kind of derivative we all know this uh, aline kind of derivative is not so much stable so that is why it will readily tautomerizes to getting this kind of alpha beta unsaturated ketone so it is tautomerization you are getting this alpha beta unsaturated ketone right now how its tautomerization takes place it is basically in this way so you are getting this alpha beta unsaturated ketone so what kind of substrate undergo now you have to know some key points for this reaction. So the key points is basically the 2 degree or 3 degree propargylic alcohol is basically used for this mayer schuster rearrangement. Now one of the important thing is that a 1 3 shift of the hydroxyl group has been takes place uh, to form the readily alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or the ketones. Now if what is the 1 3 shift? Now if you carefully see carefully that if you numbering from here this is your 1, this is your 2 and this is your 3 you can see that this OH group will migrate to the 3 three number of carbon. Now you can see that if this is uh, your 3, 2 and 1 this is similarly 3, 2 and your 1 this is similarly 3, 2 and 1. If you see that you, you have the OH group in the number 1 carbon. Now after this uh, after this aline formation uh, you are getting this OH group in the carbon number 3. So that is why this is basically called 1, 3 shift of hydroxyl group. Now uh, if you have terminal alkyne. Now what is what it indicates the terminal alkyne? Terminal alkyne basically shows this kind of group. That is if you have C triple bond C but you have the uh, hydrogen in the terminal position so you, if you have this kind of substrate then it will uh, fall it will form the aldehyde one now why it's aldehyde if you replace this r1 group by a hydrogen this r1 is also replaced by a hydrogen 
so you can see this is your aldehyde moiety so that is why this terminal alkyl follows uh, the uh, form this aldehyde and if you have the di substituted one you are getting this ketone derivative of it so so this is a basically the mayer suster rearrangement now see some examples to clear your knowledge about the mayer suster rearrangement now the example see first if you have this kind of uh, group and now you can see you have to the molecule is look like a big but it's not like that you can easily eliminate all those part you have to uh, identify this kind of moiety that is propargylic alcohol and if you have the propargylic alcohol and if you have the presence of acid then you can easily predict the what will be the product now uh, see that if you have this OH uh, adjacent to this uh, C triple bond C and if you place this, uh, if you put this 98% H2 SO4, you are getting this kind of product. So, see there is no uh, hydrogen or terminal alkyne. So, there is a substitute, uh, the, it, this alkyne is substituted one. So, if the alkyne is substituted, then it will follow the what product? That is ketone. And you are uh, getting this kind of ketone product, right? So, this is your alpha and this is your beta you are getting alpha beta unsaturated ketone like that so there is a one three shift now how the one three shift one two and three this oh group will shift to here so you can see this is your one two and three now this oh will shift and it will form readily totomerized and you are getting this kind of keto product now see the next example if you have this kind of group and if you put this 10 percent h2so4 in the medium you have this c triple bond c and oet so you have no uh, R1 alkyl R1 or alkyl or hydrogen kind of group. So if you write over here, R1 is maybe uh, your alkyl group or maybe the hydrogen. So if you have you you don't have the L, uh, alkyl group or the hydrogen uh, over the over that you are getting this OAT over here. So it is nothing too different. So this is your one, two, and three. And you can easily predict what will be the product. This OH will migrate to uh, the number three carbon, and you are getting this double bond over here in in number three carbon. So if you have this, this is one, two, and CO three. So you can see if you break it in this way, see double bond O, and this is your OET. This is not okay. So if you see that C double bond O OET. So this is uh, your number three, and if you uh, you are getting this number uh, double bond in the number three position, so this is one three shift, and it will follow the Meyer Suster rearrangement, and it's basically form this uh, uh, seventy one percent kind of, and there is a side product is uh, also formed uh, during this uh, rearrangement reaction. Uh, it basically follows this sixteen percent or more than that, right? So uh, it it basically uh, the reduction of this uh, triple bond uh, group in presence of acid so that is how you are getting this side product the next now the next example is that you have this kind of substrate there's a look uh, uh, it looks a bit like molecule but it is nothing uh, too difficult if you have this kind of aldehyde the rest part you have to you don't have to need to look about this rest part you have to check the aldehyde and if what the substrate is what the reagent is given uh, the reagent basically given is the MgBr C triple bond C H. So what is the uh, reacting site? So this is your reacting site. It will attack over here uh, in this way. So it will form this one and OMgBr. After this uh, hydrolysis, you are getting this OH and C triple bond C H. Now you can see that this is your one, two, and three. This OH will migrate to uh, three. That is one three hydroxyl group shift. So this is basically the one three hydroxyl. One three hydroxyl group shift. So if you have this one three hydroxyl group, now it will shift to the uh, number three position. And so you are getting if you put this to normal HCl medium. Now you can see that is your terminal alkyne. So what will be the product? The terminal alkyl readily follows, uh, readily form this aldehyde one. So you are getting this aldehyde. This is your one two and three. This is your one three shift, and this is your alpha beta. Right. So this is all about the Meyer Suster rearrangement. Now let's see the it's a two in one uh, that is Rupe rearrangement. Okay, so what is the Rupe rearrangement? Now Rupe rearrangement is similar to the Meyer Suster rearrangement, but the important part of this reaction of the mechanism is slightly different from the Meyer Suster rearrangement. So what kind of substrate undergo? Uh, similarly, uh, this uh, this kind of uh, propargylic alcohol over here that is one one ethanyl three methyl cyclohexanol. And if you put this acid, that is a strong acid, that is formic acid. If you put this formic acid, you are getting this kind of ethanol derivative. Okay. 
So see first the mechanism. The mechanism is slightly different. Over the mayor Schuster arrangement, you are getting that the O hydroxyl is migrate one to three position. But in case of the Rupe arrangement, it follows the one to shift of the hydroxyl group. Now if you have the uh, kind of substrate, if you put this H plus, so this lone pair takes a proton. It will follow the. It will form O H two plus, and it will simultaneously leave from the system. So that you are getting this positive charge over this uh, over this carbon. Now, one more important uh, thing of the reaction is that if you you have to uh, maintain, uh, you have to uh, look that whether this uh, molecule has an alpha position or not, and the alpha position has the hydrogen or not. So this is your alpha position uh, of this uh, positively charged system. So you have the hydrogen. So this is your condition to look about this Rupe rearrangement. So now it can donate to here. So there is a minus of H plus. After the minus of H plus, you are getting this enine. So after the uh, enine formation, uh, this bond can go over here. So if if you if you look about if you look, sorry, uh, there is a see that this uh, triple bond can take a proton from the source. So it can take a proton. So you are getting this two hydrogen over here, and you have the positive charge over here. So after that, this uh, water is present on your reaction medium. So it will directly attack over here, and you are getting this final product. And it is also the alpha beta unsaturated ketone. But one more thing is that you have to look that there is a one to shift of hydroxyl group. This is your one. This is your two. And if you see observe, if you see carefully, so this is your uh, number. Uh, this is your number one. That is your R one and R prime. This is your number one, and this is your number two. And this is your one, and this is your two. Now you can see that this hydroxyl, uh, that is basically this OH uh, group, it's basically attack over this uh, carbon number two, and you are getting this double bond O in, in the carbon number two, right? Now see the uh, key point of this reaction. The key point of this reaction is the basically the acid catalyzed rearrangement of tertiary pergelic alcohol. So you have to, uh, you have to. You have to the uh, uh, tertiary uh, propergylic alcohol in the reaction medium and in presence of acidic condition also. So that is why it is called acid catalyzed rearrangement reaction, and it follows the one to shift of hydroxyl group. Now that is you can see over here that is your one to shift. This is your one and two, and this hydroxyl will shift to the number two carbon, right? Now uh, the third point of this uh, key or uh, third key point of this Rupe rearrangement is basically the hydrogen atom available. At that their alpha position. Now you have to look about the alpha. You have to look the alpha position, and you have to uh, know that whether the alpha hydrogen is present or not. So there is alpha hydrogen present. So there is a uh, there is the possibility of the Rupe rearrangement. Now see the examples for the uh, Rupe rearrangement. So the so first example uh, says that you have the terminal alkyne. That is a proper. You can say the propergylic alcohol. So this is your propergylic alcohol. Now, if you put the acid, uh, kind of strong acid, the concentrated is two four, and you can see that this is your one, this is your two. So one two hydroxyl group shift. So this OH is placed over here. That is number two carbon. Now you can see this is your one two, and this is your product that is formed over this reaction. And you have the alpha hydrogen, right? So you have this alpha hydrogen. This is the alpha position. Why it is called alpha position? Because after this leaving of this OH2+, plus, you have the positive charge over here. So near uh, this uh, uh, alpha position is near to the uh, positive charge. So this is your alpha position. Uh, just because of the uh, it is the first position to the uh, positive charge. So that is why it is your alpha position. You are getting after the final product. You are getting this kind of product. After this final reaction, you are getting this kind of product, right? Now the next example of this reaction is this one. That if you have this kind of substrate and the formic acid is given, that is source of acid, and you are getting to know that this is your one and two. This will shift over here. You are getting this. But one more thing is that it is not. There is the possibility that you have this OH two plus will leave from the system, so you have the positive charge over here. Now there is a possibility of this hydrogen migration. 
in this way just because it is to stabilize this carbocation right so that is why the extra double bond is included in this position so that is how this double bond is present over here you are getting this final product this one right so this is also your one to shift now the next example uh, see that it is uh, as well as the uh, repair arrangement and one of the important uh, uh, concept of your of your stereochemistry right so you have to predict the stereochemistry as well but how this reaction takes place that is lithium is coordinated over here so it will this is your heart center and this is also your heart center so hard heart combination over this and you are getting this oh, uh, this O minus and OLI after the hydrolysis you are getting this OH. Now why this is OH is in below the plane and this overall group is in the above the plane. Now you can you can consider this uh, overall whole group in this way that is the hydrogen and this is your methyl right. So this hydrogen and methyl is in top of the position that is uh, these two are in this way that is in this way. So this hydrogen is top and methyl is also in top. So these two groups are top and these groups are in position uh, this group uh, this overall two cyclopentane kind of ring are in this way. So the less crowded is part less crowded part is the uh, hydrogen and methyl side, and the more crowded part of this is, of this ring is the lower side. So that is why this overall group attack of, uh, from the above the plane, and this OH will simultaneously go from the below the plane. So that is why you are getting this OH in below the plane and this overall group in the above the plane. And after the hydrolysis, or uh, sorry, uh, not hydrolysis, after this. Uh, the source of H plus you are getting this Ruperi arrangement so why this is 1 and 2 so that is why you are getting this 1 to uh, 1 to uh, of shift of hydroxyl group and you are getting this final product right and this is your alpha position this will move to here and you are getting this double bond also over here so how can you differentiate from uh, Ruperi arrangement to Meyer Schuster arrangement you have to see that this hydrogen is placed over here and this kind of terminal alkyne is basically uh, undergoes this rupee rearrangement. So this is why how we can differentiate between this uh, mayor Schuster rearrangement and the rupee rearrangement. So I hope this video is very much helpful for you. And uh, if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. And do subscribe the channel uh, for the more more information and more organic chemistry videos. And to do to my concept to clearing of to clearing of your concept right so that's it for this video and if you find this video useful share it with your friends and thank you so much for watching